Good evening everyone this is Rishali in our previous session we discuss about important topics of dbms with practical demo and examples i have mentioned complete database management system playlist link in below description box now in this session we will discuss about the next important topic that is sql sub queries and nested queries so let's start the session In this channel you will get a complete point wise easy explanation with practical demo and question bank of following subjects so please like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe the channel so you will get a notification regarding my new upcoming videos now before move forward to the main topic you must know this thing like ddl commands dml commands sql clauses sql operators and aggregated function we already discussed this thing in previously I have mentioned the link of that video in below description box. So please revise those topic first. Then only you should understand about sub queries and nested queries. Now the first important point is what exactly sub queries. So sub query means query within another query. This is called as sub query. Suppose you have to mention select statement, and under that select statement you need to mention another select statement, right? So this is called as sub query. so the outer query is called as main query and inner query is called as sub query and this all concept is called as nested query right now for implementation purpose there are some rules while implementing sql sub queries and nested queries the first rule is sub query always implemented with sql clauses like where clause from clause having clause like that okay next thing rule is sub query always implement with any dml statement you can uh, implement sub query with select update insert or delete now you can use different operators while implementation purpose next thing is there are two part left side part are called as outer query or query and right side part is called as sub queries sub query are always enclosed with parenthesis while implementation purpose you need to mention sub query always in round bracket right and next last rule is sub query Uh, didn't use order by command so at that time you can use group by command while performing the same function so these are the some rules and these rules we will implement while implementing a sub queries right next now the first thing is how to implement sub query with the select statement right so this is our given table and from this table you need to select those particular id of the employee where salary is greater than 45000 this is our problem statement right so let's see how to implement this now here i am using mysql workbench for implementing the practical and here i have already created the table the table name is employee 20 and see here there are total five columns employee id name age address and salary and there are total five records have stored so this is our given table now you need to apply sub queries on this particular table so the first thing is sub query using select statement so our problem statement is we need to select the id of employee where salary is greater than 45000 okay see here how to implement first select star from our table name is employee 20 right now use where clause for implementing sub query where id in in is used for exactly match the condition okay so our sub query is select id from employee 20 where salary greater than 45000 okay i will explain it and semicolon now see here so under that round a bracket statement this is your sub query okay select id from employee where salary is greater than 45000 now you need to apply this sub query on the employee 20 table okay and this id is exactly match with the salary which is greater than 45000 now just execute this query see here it display the result of those particular employee with id where salary is greater than 45000 here id play the role of primary key okay so this is called as select sub query using select statement 
now the next thing is how to use subquery with the insert statement so generally this thing is used to you need to create a backup of your particular table suppose your table is employee now you need to create a backup of this table like employee new or employee backup so at that time this particular conditions have used okay see here now this is your given table employee so you need to create a same table like employee new means you need to insert the record of this previous table into the new table so this is called as sub insert using subquery see here how to create insert okay so first you need to create a one backup table okay so take a same table as it is mm, i will explain it wait a minute see here create one table suppose a table name is employee backup okay like bak something right so just execute this uh, query for execution purpose i am using here control shift enter okay so i have created the one table and table name is employee backup okay now you need to insert this all the records of employee 20 into the employee backup how see here insert into our new table name is employee backup okay so select all the rows from previous table select star from employee 20 where id so id is your primary key that's why i mentioned the id here and mention the sub query okay select select id from previous table okay by using primary key or by using id you can fetch all the information of the particular employee so mention the semicolon now execute this query so i have executed this one now just uh, display the table new table select star from and our new table is employee backup employee b a k so just execute this query see here this is your employee backup table it insert all the data of employee 20 into the employee backup right so this is the use of insert using sub queries next now the next one is update statement how to use sub query with the update statement so our problem statement is you need to update the salary of particular employee okay you need to update the salary of employee where age is greater than 29 this is our problem statement see here now the next one is update okay so how to use see here use the keyword update uh, which table our previous table update employee 20 okay after that use a set keyword set keyword always used with the update so what things we need to update salary salary equal to salary into suppose 0.25 you need to update the salary for which employee where age in you need to match age exactly with sub query so our sub query is select age from mm, sorry select age from our new table is employee backup okay see here how to use employee backup where age greater than equal to uh, suppose 29 right i will explain it see here this is our sub query you need to select a age from employee backup table okay where age is greater than equal to 29 now this age you need to update salary equal to salary into 0.25 okay so whatever the information i have selected from employee backup table you need to update employee 20 okay so just execute this query and now uh, display our Up, which is your updated table employee 20 now display employee 20 table see here their salary have updated previously here uh, there is a 60000 salary there is a 12000 uh, 12 lakh 5 sorry 1 lakh 25000 and this is our another implemented salary right 
so in this way you need to update the salary using subquery now the next one is subquery with the delete statement so you can use a subquery for deleting purpose okay now you need to delete a particular employee where age is greater than 27 this is our problem statement see here how to use next one is subquery using delete statement so delete from our main table is employee 20 right where so you just learn or rem remember the syntax okay where age in okay age is a column of previous table and in means exactly match with subquery condition so our subquery is always read this sentence in backward direction okay i will tell you how select age from employee backup employee backup where age greater than equal to suppose uh, 27 okay so what is the meaning of this query you need to select you need to select age from employee backup where age is greater than equal to 27 okay you need to select those employee and this age is match with your previous employee 20 table and delete those record so just execute this query and after that display those table see here all the employee where age is greater than 27 those have deleted and only those less than 27 ages data is remaining right so this is called as delete using subquery so this is all about subqueries with all the dml statement thank you keep learning